Good morning. Welcome to opening day 2024 at St. Clair Little League. I'm Jamie Haslam uh, with Channel 6. I got Nancy over there waving and, and we're, uh, we're here in a beautiful opening day. Uh, what a great what a great day for opening day. The weather is just cooperating and we have co coming out of the field right now, just walking out of the field, the Little League Girls State Champions. That's the 12 year old girls, 12 and under state champions. Uh, what that really means is 10 to 12. These girls, uh, they won the state championship and they're going to play this year uh, as junior girls. They'll compete again for the state championship. They went on to uh, to play in the regional, won some games. There's Coach Ken Kern out there. He's uh, Not only is he going to coach the girls' junior team, he coached the team last year for the state championship. He will also be... Um, be heading up the scheduling and everything for District 7 for all junior girls. He's a guy that just does a ton of stuff for St. Clair Little League and the entire district. And as we come behind us, we got the T-Ball group coming through, the future of St. Clair Little League. These guys probably have the most fun uh, on opening day. Morning, guys. Morning, guys. You're, you're on TV up there, guys, so make sure you're doing your best. <laughs> Heck yeah, you're on TV. So... And if you look, if you look at the parents involved with the opening day ceremonies, Tom Brenner, I'll tell you, probably one of the best coaches St. Clair High School's ever had right there, walking through. And when you see, there it is, President Matt Karras. Hi. Good morning. President Karras, anything to say this morning? Uh, it's a beautiful day. We're going to have a great season. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're so lucky that President Karras, when, um, when, when I was ready to kind of retire, step aside as president, I, uh, I knew exactly who who I wanted to fill that role. And when I went to Matt and said, hey, what do you think about you know taking over as president of St. Clair Little League? He was, he was right there to step up and do his part. And he's been amazing for this league, I tell you. Nobody could have, could have come in and done, uh, done what he's done in the last few years uh, as successfully and quickly as he's done it. Out in the field, behind the flag guys from our local VFW is Jody Randall. She she runs the concession. She runs kind of a lot of stuff. She is she is kind of Matt's right hand, I think. Uh, she's she's just that person that's behind the scenes a little bit, but just is out there doing doing everything. Got Jeremiah Becker on the field, right up here by home plate by the state championship trophy. He's the player agent for St. Clair Little League and really he's my player agent go-to for all of District 7. He's that guy that when people don't know what they're doing or what they're supposed to be doing, Jeremiah is the guy that I, I call and say, hey, can you go help out, you know, Marysville or Marine City? And I, I did use those two examples of needing help on purpose. Uh, so we got the little guys still rolling through behind us. I don't know all the names of the team, but teams this, this year, but so you'll notice that the hats, you're on the TV guys. <laughs> so their hats uh, distinguish what team they're on this year but I, 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 like I said I don't even know them all anymore Derek Drugach and his son he's wearing, wet, he's wearing rain boots this morning I hope he's not going to play in rain boots but Ryan's I'll tell you Ryan's going to be a great wrestler one day he doesn't know it yet but he's going to be and so you got Matt Karras out by home plate now. And, and that trophy at home plate right now, that's the 12-year-old girls state championship trophy. Uh, pretty special trophy. The 12-year-old the division, or the Little League division we call it, is probably the most difficult division to win a state championship in. And for our girls to do that last year was a pretty special thing. Got Daniel Riley here this morning. He's one of those guys that coaches Little League. He does junior football. You'll notice that as a pattern kind of with all these guys. Um, in the community, Matt Karras does junior football as well. All these guys that step up, it seems like they're all uh, involved in kind of everything. Um, Suzanne Zibula, our, our superintendent for uh, East China School District. Good morning, Suzanne. Nice to see you. Great to have you out here this morning. It Perfect. is wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Our, my... so, so Channel 6 is... We're, yeah, Good morning. We're, we're, we're here this morning. <laughs> and just what a great day for opening day. You've been a part of a lot of opening days. Not yes. always this nice. Not always this nice. Sometimes a little chilly, sometimes a little wet. This is perfect. Kind of great to bring your daughter out here as a state champion, right? It really day. is. Isn't that a neat thing? Yep. They're going to go back at it again. They're going to go for the junior Juniors. state championship. Yep, yep. So Ken's putting that schedule together. We should have that pretty soon. Pretty yes. excited about that. She started out as a grasshopper. Yeah. Oh, really? Great. Yes, yep. And now we're state champions. So it's been a been a great time and kind of sad to yeah. be at the, As at you get the, to the end. end of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand that part yep. for sure. Great tradition. Well, have a great day. Thank Thanks. you, Sam, for everything you do.
So Suzanne's fantastic. She's part of, you know, Little League, and she obviously she's a superintendent for, for East China School Districts, uh, does a great job, and I'll tell you, she's one of those superintendents that if you need something, she's there to help you out. So, man, these T-Ballers, it's good to see all the Littles come through. We're just getting now to the next division. The next division is the seven, eight-year-old division, and that is a little, little, more, little more serious. They'll use a pitching machine, and... Uh, so it just ramps up the, you know, the uh, competition a little bit, uh, getting them ready for when they get in that minor league division and they start pitching. I think now they even pitch a little bit in the seven, eight year old division and probably Matt Karras will be listening to this on TV uh, tonight and be like, I don't know if that's, that's true. Uh, but another huge group, uh, it just shows you where we're headed with St. Clair Little League and, and where Matt Karras has this, this thing pointed um, just a ton of growth in the future, I believe, for this for this group. See all these parents that are walking in the parade. They all are part of something. You know, they're they're helping coach on the field. Yeah, you're on TV, guys. Wave to the camera up there. <laughs> uh, good morning, sir. Thank you. So yeah, just coaches coming through, Mr. Martin coming through, just these guys, uh, I can't say enough about what they do for not only St. Clair League, oh man, back in the background there, you can't see him yet, but that's Ron Cook, we'll try to grab him. Ron uh, has been doing this an awful long time. In fact, we'll, we'll try to find out exactly, got St Steve over here. Let's grab Ron. Mr. Cook, good morning, sir. We're, we're on with Channel 6, and just okay. wanted to ask you a few questions while you're here. Right, Mr. Cook, how long have you been doing this? Over 50 years. Over 50 years. How many, th how many kids do you think you've coached in 50 years? You. Me. I, <laughs> I did play for, for Coach Cook. Uh, it was an honor to play for Coach Cook. I tell you, this is exactly what I was talking about, the, the beginning of this. Mr. Cook has been doing this for over 50 years. He's coached from me, my kids, all the way up through. And just how, how important is it to you that you're a part of this? Well... I make a difference as far as I'm concerned. I don't just teach ball, it's life. You yeah. know, a little bit of pride, honesty, respect, you yeah. know, it all goes together. It, he definitely teaches like, oh, Jackson Disserath over there, or Matt, I'm sorry, Max Disserath. He, he's right. And, and we, we can't say enough about what you've done. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. I appreciate everything you've done, man. Keep Thank it you, going. Mr. Cook. That's what makes me proud. Guys like you. So we just, we just lost Steve Freeland and Matt Disserath. Matt Disserath, the, the varsity boys. Uh, basketball coach, got Bart Stockwell here. Oh, Mr. Terrell, he's part of the Varsity Boys program this year. Uh, Stevie Freeland, I'll tell you, Stevie Freeland's one of those guys. That guy uh, is the groundskeeper here. He's been doing it. Uh, he was my ground, one of my groundskeepers with Jamie Conlon. Those guys just do everything. Um, I don't know where we'd be without guys like Stevie Freeland and and Matt Disterath. These are our guys that cut and do our weed whacking. Oh, all man. The time. We got. Tom Milan, uh, Mullen, yep. yeah, Mullen, Carl Kapanka, Paul Disterath, uh, Jim Muro. I know that's does a ton of stuff out here. Jim Muro, that he does I know he doesn't he like when I when, when we Jim do. So all. Jim Muro yeah. is one of those guys. He's on the grill. He's cutting grass. He's building something. Don't Just one of those guys that's doing a ton of stuff. So we're lucky to have him around here. Uh, he's fantastic. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, we, we, Ron Cook, one of those guys that's been doing it 50 years. What do you say about guys like that? 50 years, he hasn't had a kid in Little League. Well, his son graduated high school with me, so that just shows you how long it's been since Ron Cook has been officially doing anything for St. Clair Little League because he needed to. My family here, uh, Chris, who ran the concession stand for seven years. My son Christian, he's a district champion uh, for St. Clair Little League. Um, my, my grandson, Hudson, He's future little leaguer. He's only one right now. They won't let him play. I've tried, uh, but Matt is pretty strict about that. I'm going to sign off and let Matt take it over. <laughs> oh, say can you see early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the 
hair roll is fried or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Wow, beautiful. Great job. Thank you very much. I might have been able to do it better, but we'll never know. <laughs> Great job. Thank you very much. I will try to keep this as short as possible, but there's a lot of people to thank to make the Little League season possible, and this is really the only moment we get to call them out and give them a thank you in front of the whole league. So I think it's important to do this, but it does take some time. So we're going to call the board members out. Tasia Miro. Tasia is our uh, secretary. She's also been instrumental in getting uh, everything with the side-by-side, -side, getting the side-by-side -side here. She's been uh, a big part with talking to, uh, to Grace Performance. So thank you, Tasia. Next, I'll call out the Randalls, Russ and Jody. Russ is not here today, but Russ does the concession stand. Um, He's a big part of why it runs so smoothly. He loves to do it. The concession stand is uh, not an easy job. If you ask anyone who's ever done it before, he does it with a smile, and he keeps the ice cream still at a dollar, even though if I want to raise it. So thank you, Russ. <laughs> Next is Jody Randall. She's my right-hand uh, woman. She does all the tasks I am not capable of doing or don't want to do. She does a lot of stuff behind the scenes you guys don't see. Um, she's really kind of like a bulldog. If something needs to get done, Jody Randall's going to get it done. She works in the concession stand with Russ. She is the treasurer. I don't make that job easy. Um, she runs night the races. She put together opening day with Jeff Koss. She does side by side, all the side by side, everything else. So Jody is a big help, a big part of St. Clair Little League, so thank you. Next up is Jeff Koss. Jeff, I think, is here. Um, he does everything. To say, he's our safety uh, supervisor. He does everything from injuries. He gets the, all the permits for the parade. You can tell he's uh, been, on, been on the board for a few years. He did everything without me even uh, budging or asking him. So thank you, Jeff, for making everything smoothly run today, getting all our permits and everything ready to go, and uh, having a safe league. No injuries this year. Next up is Jeremiah Becker. His daughter just sang the national anthem beautifully. Um, he's been a part of this league for how many years now, Jeremiah? 12 years. Um, he knows his stuff. He's our player agent. So come all-star time is his most stressful two, three weeks getting all the paperwork together. Um, he also is in charge of the girls' uniforms, getting all those in, in order. He's a good guy to throw ideas off of. He's a deep thinker, I like to call him. Um, so thank you, Jeremiah. Steve Faselli's up next. He's our part of our equipment crew. He's also a division head for the minor girls. Steve, where are you? Steve's also been around for quite a while now. A big cheer, Steve. Uh, Steve uh, takes care of all the equipment on the girls' side of things. He's also involved with, I mean, other um, involved with softball quite a bit now. We can pull him over from the baseball side. So he's another good guy to throw ideas off. Thank you, Steve, for all your years of service. Thank you. Next is John Chop. He's our baseball equipment guy. He's uh, 
I think everyone knows John Chop. I haven't run across somebody who doesn't. So John's a great uh, point person. He knows everybody, it seems like. He's always going to meet you with a smile. He's our next in line film crew guy after Steve Freeland retires. Um, he might not know that yet. I'm just announcing it. So he takes care of all the equipment. He really takes care of a lot of the other stuff with the in between me and the coaches and uh, helps me out there. Thank you, Mr. Chop. Next up is Steve Freeland, Mr. Get Off My Grass. Steve, where are you? So Steve uh, he does a lot of stuff in the background with the fields. He's uh, a big reason why we we're able to play today. If you've seen the fields yesterday at one o'clock, uh, most of them are underwater. He stayed uh, late, he was here late last night, early this morning before anyone else getting everything done. He uh, takes pride in his work. As you can see, the fields look great. He does a lot of other things around here. I, can't think of at the moment, but Steve, thank you for all your years of service. He's getting, uh, his kids are aging out, so I think he's probably retiring soon. As uh, as many years of service, Steve, thank you very much. Uh, we're in debt to you for all your years of hard work. <laughs> Kevin Cobra, next up. He's our sponsor and uh, fundraising guy. We've done great this year in uh, the last two years with getting sponsors and fundraising. He's also kind of, uh, I would say, third in line in the softball ranks behind uh, Libby. And uh, we really throw a lot of ideas off him. He's really level-headed for me. He keeps things in line and gives, uh, keeps me in check. But he's done a great job kind of uh, helping with softball and the fundraising parts. Thank you, Kevin. Taylor Newton. Where's Taylor at? Taylor is kind of a, a do everything type of thing. She's our uh, food purchaser, but she really does. She did the boards up by the concession stand with the prices. She uh, is always in concession stand helping any little task that we need extra. She's always stepping up to do. She does the basket at night of the races, which have been through the roof the last two years. She's been a big part of this league the last few years, and it's only going to grow if, uh, if the Randalls ever step down. So thank you. Mandy Romzak, is Mandy in the, Mandy's here, she's our, our social media guru, she's our Facebook poster, she makes everything look good, she's our paparazzi, she'll be going around taking pictures today, so smile, um, basically positive posts all throughout the year, get those recruiting uh, numbers up, alright? So thank you Mandy for all the hard work, I know I just sent you a random text to send out, but thank you. John Terrell, another longtime member here who's uh, getting close to retirement. John is uh, also our field guy He uh, and our coaching coordinator. He's a great guy to throw ideas off of, tell me if I'm crazy in thinking certain things. Um, I appreciate his time and efforts here at the field. I mean, he spends as much time as Steve does here making sure everything's right to go. Um, he works for Precision uh Lawn care, they are instrumental in helping everything run. So John, thank to you and your company. Again, John will probably be retiring soon, so we need a few replacements if anyone knows any field crew guys. Thank you, John. Holly Tadman. Holly is kind of our board member in training. She's probably gonna be the secretary when Jody steps down, um, everything, everything else. Um, she will be the, the next one up. She's also our 8U division head in charge of that. So she's also another one that currently just steps up when anything needs to be done. She'll run and get signs. She'll just step up and help out with the side-by-side -side stuff and at the races, all that good stuff. Holly, big things ahead for you. Thank you. <laughs> Nate Lardnick, Lardnick. Sorry, he's our umpire in chief. He's a uh, He's really got that, I guess, dialed in. We are umpires uh, filled in within two hours this year. We'll have two umpires for major games and minor boys and girls this year. Nate's uh, been a big part of getting that all together. He does a lot of other things, but umpire chief's a tough gig, getting everyone recruited, everyone to do it. Um, remember to treat our umpires kindly, and any complaints, we don't want to hear them, so <laughs> don't even bring them up. Nate, thank you for getting the umpires all together and everything running smoothly, thank you. Next up is our uh, two uh, baseball and softball uh, vice presidents who do everything 
for softball and baseball that you can think of, from scheduling to rosters, the t-shirts, all that stuff, keeping, the, keeping things in line. They both care about the programs, trying to get them in the right direction, always thinking about positive change, what we can do for the whole program, not just a few kids. They both care deeply about St. Clair Little League and have been involved for a while. Again, their kids are aging out soon. Um, they'll be replaced, I think, in a few years. Um, but the big thank you to both of them. I'll call them out. Libby Cody is our VP of softball. She's also the varsity head coach for softball St. Clair. So if someone cares about a softball program growing, it's the high school varsity coach, and that's Libby. So we know it's tough doing double duty, Libby, but thank you. We appreciate you giving all the time you can to Little League and to the high school. We appreciate you. Thank you. Next up is Matt Disra, the VP of Baseball. Matt's been involved again for since 2003. Um, he started coaching the A's, still coaching the A's. Um, he took over VP of Baseball, I think, when Jamie took over. And uh, he works on growing the program, works on scheduling, works on uh, rosters, uniforms, all that good stuff. He's a great guy to throw ideas off. He's always thinking, if you need to know a role, he's your guy. If you need a car, he's also your guy, St. Clair uh, Chrysler. All right, go see him there. But, man, thank you for all your years of service. We appreciate you greatly. That is your 2024 St. Clair Little League board. Thank you guys very much. Without them, nothing would be done. All right, without these guys in charge, it's very important that they're here. They give their time, their money, their effort, all that stuff. They give a lot of hours before the season, during and afterwards to make things work. Thank you guys again. Next up is the Vision Heads. We have Brad Rochak, who's currently not here, but uh, Nick, why don't you come out, Malberg? Come on out, anyways, for him, for you, and you're the minor boy, so come on out. Nick is uh, somebody who's got I don't know how many kids, but he seems like he coaches every team in every division, and everyone loves him. So he's a great guy, always smiling. He is uh, kind of second in charge in AU, and he's the minor boy division. Thank you, Nick. Is Jim Schneider here for Major Girls? Coach Jim here, yep. He might not even know he's the girls division head, but he is. Uh, Steve Faselli is already out there. Holly Tamman for AU Girls is already out there. Matt Disarath is already out there for the boys. So a uh, round of applause and I'll get to my personal thank yous for everything else. First, I want to thank the grounds crew a lot of times I show up at 5 o'clock and the grass is perfectly cut, everything's weed whipped, everything's perfect, and this is because of these guys, Tim Mullins, Carl Klopenka, Paul Disarath, and I can't mention Jim Merrill. He uh, told me not to mention him. I might lose him as a volunteer, but Jim does quite a bit. The scoreboard's named after him. He's here constantly whenever we need him. His uh, daughter-in-law is on the board. His uh, son Caleb coaches. He's a big part of this league. He likes to stay in the background, and this is me not mentioning him and saying thank you. And Tim Owens might be the only guy that likes to weed whack or weed whip that I've ever heard of. So he's out here doing that. Um, thank God for him. Another thank you is Andrew Gilroy um, for doing the fertilizing and getting all the rid of the dandelions. Uh, Kevin's lawn care. Uh, the Chop family as a whole, Don Chop, especially the Chop family, as you might know, uh, Deluge Construction does a lot for us. That probably doesn't even get mentioned. It's, I probably mentioned it 10% of the time that they deserve it, but thank you to the Chop family as a whole. Eric Gallagher um, has been on point so far this year. Uh, I tell him something's wrong electrical-wise, and he fixes it right away. Thank you, Eric Gallagher. We appreciate all you do. Again, that kind of stuff gets missed, but uh, it's needed, and we appreciate that stuff. Head of security, uh, Kevin Gleason, has locked down our field house. We've got, uh, thanks to him, the new lock on the door. We have security cameras in place. Um, trying to deter any crime. Not, not that we have any, but um, Kevin did that all for free. And for MDK Alarm, he did that all for free. Didn't charge us anything. Got everything set up, everything wired, ready to go. So thank you, Kevin. Uh, 
Okay, now the real, per uh, sorry, the personal, personal, I, I do want to thank past presidents uh, that really uh, have inspired me and helped me out through the years. Um, I had a privilege of coaching or being side by side with all these guys, Tom Foley, Todd Disrath, of course, Jamie Haslam. We have Haslam Drive now open. So when you pull in, you've got to go to six through nine, you can turn left right away down Haslam Drive. It took a year, but we got to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to thank my dad who, um, Anything I kind of need to done, he kind of takes over. I feel like I give him extra stress. He's also one that doesn't want to be recognized, but he is very important to me, very important to this league. He does a lot um, to get done. I kind of throw out some crazy ideas. He makes sure that it happens, so thank you, Dad. And of course, my wife and kids. I sacrificed quite a bit uh, leaving them to be here. I know my wife doesn't always like it, even though she won't admit it, that I'm here sometimes and uh, not there with them, but it's a joy. They're both playing this year, so I have two kids finally in the league, and uh, so I'm very happy to think uh, that they're here, so thank you, Hillary, Presley, and Parker. I swear I'm almost done. Uh, I do want to mention the um, history of St. Clair Little League is going to be out. That's going to be on Channel 6. It's going to be at the, um, the History Museum downtown. I think that's the 17th, Friday the 17th of May. So check that out. That, uh, has, that features some current Little Leaguers kind of through last year, and it's basically history since 1952 till now. So it'll be a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool event. So without, so now we're going to do the, the opening prayer, and then we're going to do the Little League pro Pledge. Well, thank you, St. Clair Little League, for the honor of being here. Thank you for scheduling this event on this day. My church, the church that I minister to, is down in Elginac right now doing a beautification project for the community. We've got 30 yards of mulch and flowers. And so I got them lined up and I said, hey guys, I got a jet. I got to go up to St. Clair to open in prayer. So thank you. I figure we'll uh, pray for like two hours and then I don't have to go back, so that would be awesome. I'm kidding. Joking aside, you got my two-minute guarantee. Um, thank you. Thank you for the honor of being here and thank you for including prayer as part of your opening ceremony. It says a lot about what you guys value in, in this organization. So would you pray with me? God, you are so good to us. We see this clouds parting and the sun on our faces. It warms us. We breathe this beautiful, fresh air. We have homes and clothing and food. Lord, you're so good. You've given us almost a resort-style setting here to play this game that we love. You've given us beautiful relationships here that blur the lines between family and friend, people who love our children and care for us deeply. So we thank you. We thank you so much for it. And Father, we can't help but to say thank you for the freedom that we have here in this country. We see it reflected in the stars and stripes flapping in the wind, knowing that if it wasn't for men and women giving their lives, that we may not have the freedom to do what we love. So thank you for that. And we ask you to bless. We ask you to bless this season first with safety. Safety against foul balls and bumps and bruises and scrapes, Lord. We ask that you would watch over and protect all of us. But we ask that you would also bless this season relationally. Help us to remember that this game that we love is a game and a beautiful teaching moment for these children. Help us to approach every play with grace and humility and love for our fellow person. Whether we be coaches or umpires or players or parents, help us to approach the whole thing with grace and love. Whether we win or lose, let's play a game that honors you in thanksgiving for what you've done for us. So we surrender it all to you this morning. Ask for a beautiful season in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Thank you very much. I forgot to thank my brother. He does a lot of the plumbing out here. He uh, has got those scoreboards on one and two working beautifully. Thank you, Joe. And uh, Joe DeSmither, he's also a field crew guy. Um, I just kind of missed over a whole section here. But Joe DeSmither, thank you. And Kurt Moran, thank you for doing all, all the posts and everything for us. So just a few more. And I'm sure I missed um, 
a lot of other ones. Josh Klutz is uh, doing the dugouts this uh, this after the season's done. He's in charge of that. He kind of ran with that. So thank you guys for taking that on. And now we're going to call up Russ Randall, Parker Freeland, Cam Cody, Macy Kerbrat, Mackenzie Becker, and Meadow Karras to do the Little League Pledge. Your parents told you guys were doing this, right? Okay. No? No. Who's Russ? <laughs> the, boy, the boys are late. There's the hustle. Did you guys memorize it? Oh, we don't have it for you. Oh, shit. So they're going to say a line and pause, and you guys are going to repeat it back. I trust, I trust in God. God. I, trust in God. I, love I love my country. And I respect his laws. laws. I, will I will play fair. Play fair and strive, strive to win. To win. But win or lose. I will always do my best. I've never heard it said better. Great job. All right, uh, Libby. So you may or may not heard last year we were the 2023 uh, Major Girls State Title winners. It's kind of a kind of a big deal. All right, for those who don't know. It's the top division in Little League, and to win it is a great honor. So Libby's going to be here. She's going to call out all the girls. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just exciting recognizing these girls. They had a great run to regionals in Whitestown, Indiana last summer. And um, through their state championship, they outscored their opponents 86 to 10. So it was a pretty exciting run for them and they did a great job. So, double zero, Emma Hustick. Number three, Darby Larch. Number four, Leah Saibula. Number seven, Malia Smith. Number nine, Dylan Smith. Number 10, Cameron Kern. Number 11, Emma Roberts. Number 16, Cameron Cody. Number 22, Carrie Yeager. Number 24, Mackenzie Becker. Number 66, Ella Murray. Number 99, Blair Distelrath. And coached by Ken Kern, Nate Larch, and Stacey Yeager. So we have a banner that's going to kind of comm commemorate their accomplishments with their team picture from regionals. <laughs> and it's going to be hung up field. It's going to be hung up. <laughs> Congratulations girls, great run. We look forward to seeing what you guys do in the future and who the next group is to come along and win another title. <laughs> Jeremiah Becker is going to do the parent pledge. All right, I always like this. It keeps us uh, thinking about the important things and why we're out here. Um, so I'll repeat after me. I will teach all children to play fair and do their best. I will positively support all managers, coaches, and players. I will respect the decisions of the umpires. I'll praise a good effort despite the outcome of the game. If we all just keep in mind that the goal here is the love of the game and development of players, 
We'll do just fine all season. Thank you. First pitch is our uh, two pitcher catcher combos that we had from the Team Michigan team. We have Cameron Kern, Blair Distelrath, Kara Yeager, and Emma Hustick. All right, play ball! Thank you guys, here's your great season.